What's up guys, it's Zach with Half Pace Outdoors. How are you today? We're getting ready to get loaded up to go out on the boats for the day. We're going out to Walborn Reservoir in Alliance. I've had a lot of people ask across my social medias, um, how do you load a 72 pound canoe if you're handicapped? Well, that's what we're gonna show you guys today. So, let's go check this out. This is the hard part. Now it gets easier. I get it about two thirds of the way up, and then I lift the back up. Lift with your legs, not your back. about this spot or this part of it is just keeping it in line because this canoe is 40 inches wide so it's just as wide as my wife's um, the cross members on her rack The camera. Well, my captured audience. And then I line up the handle, the rear handle with the back hitch. Make sure she's centered on there. Then it's just a matter of getting your pads underneath, which you only really end up lifting up like 30, 40 pounds. Don't laugh at me. I'm not. I was actually Yeah. So I'll get the pads under the other side. Get her tied down, and we'll see you guys at the lake. Oh, the wind's not so bad now.
So yeah, guys, the Discovery 133 from Old Town. 13 and a half foot long, 40 inches wide, a shallow arch bottom, weighs about 72 pounds. And this time I'll include clips of loading it and unloading it on my own. They're, uh, I don't really want to call them a solo canoe because you can fit two people in here. I mean, you can put three people in here. It's got three seats. Plus gear. We've done it on an overnight trip. Me, my son, one of my buddies. And for it being 40 inches wide, this thing glides through the water. My wife's in a, what is that, a 10 foot Trapping. kayak? A 10 foot kayak, a Pelican Intrepid, and I can keep up with her for the most part. Maneuvers very nicely. I've I found out the trick for solo paddling this canoe is to turn it around backwards. If I don't have my son or dog with me, I'll turn the canoe around backwards and sit in the front seat. Is that what you do? Yeah. <laughs> it balances the weight out more so the front's not yeah, you like so far up. It does okay on a river. It likes to kind of spin in the current some. I've noticed that. Paddle so nicely. Because it's plastic, I can drop it. Alright guys, see you next time.